the Black Horse Regiment of Northern Virginia. Yes. Is that Jeb Stewart's outfit? Yes. Uh, Stewart would, uh, one of Stewart's regiments would be the uh, 4th Virginia, which is referred to as the Black Horse Regiment. And the Black Horse Regiment, the 4th Virginia, was at uh, the Battle of Gettysburg. They didn't actually fight, did they, in the Battle of Gettysburg? They, the cavalry operations, uh, Stuart with his cavalry, uh, three brigades of cavalry, uh, were on a uh, raid that had a reconnaissance mission uh, to the west, east of the line of the Confederate advance. Uh, Stuart and his uh, three brigades of cavalry with him will arrive at Gettysburg at about, uh, at least Stuart will arrive by about 2.30 in the afternoon. Now, uh, the rest of the, the uh, th three other, the three brigades with him will arrive at various times uh, after 2 o'clock on the afternoon of uh, April, uh, uh, afternoon of uh, July 2nd. Now, Lee is not particularly happy with Stuart when he arrives. Uh, because Stuart's mission was, uh, and Lee had given him a discretionary orders, that he could cross the uh, Potomac River uh, downstream and between where the Union Army crosses the Potomac River, moving into Maryland, and Washington, D.C., which Stuart did, which he was right in doing that. But then he, uh, at Rockville, Maryland, on the uh, 28th day of uh, June, Stuart and his command capture a large wagon train, totaling about 125 wagons. Now, if the Union had crossed, he's supposed to contact Lee as soon as he learns that the Union Army is crossing the Potomac River. Uh, he makes kind of a half-way uh, measure uh, to notify uh, Lee, uh, does not contact Lee directly, because his, once he has spotted and identified the Union in being across the Potomac River, his mission is to press northward as fast as possible and establish contact with units of General Ewell's Corps of Lee's Army that at this time is, an occup is either at, at Carlisle, Pennsylvania or York, Pennsylvania. He decides to continue with the 125 wagons which slow down his march. And thus, Lee will uh, engage the Union without knowing that they have arrived at Gettysburg. So, Stuart will arrive on July 2nd. The battle had begun on the morning of July 1st. Now, Initially, on July 1st, at the end of the day, the Confederates have won. They've driven the Union for their positions west of town, but they have not seized the high ground south of Gettysburg to where the Union troops fall back to. Meade will make a decision to concentrate at Gettysburg, and they'll renew the battle on the 2nd. Stuart will not arrive until about 2.30 or two thereabouts on the afternoon of the 2nd. And Lee is, will say, General Stuart, where have you been? General Stuart will explain, I've been operating to the, to the east of the army. I've captured 125 wagons. Lee says, the, that was not what I'm interested in. Uh, uh, let us say no more about it and help me beat, the, beat these people. Lee always referred to the enemy as the people. So, Lee, so Stuart will uh, 
ride will leave his meeting with Lee, which occurs on Seminary Ridge, and rides uh, east along the Hanover Road, where elements of the Union Cavalry have engaged Confederate infantry along, uh, uh, along the Hanover Road. The other units of Lee's, of Stuart's cavalry will arrive late on the afternoon and the early evening on the second day of July. They've been on the road since the 25th day of June. The men are tired, the horses are tireder. So on July 3rd, Stuart will become engaged with the enemy. Now, on July 3rd, Lee hopes to make one final effort in which will give him victory at Gettysburg. On July 1st, the Confederates held the advantage. The second, in very bitter fighting, the Confederates made gains, but the Union still hold their key positions along Cemetery Ridge with her left anchored on Little Round Top. Uh, their, uh, right, uh, their right center anchored on Cemetery Hill on Culp's Hill. So Lee plans to make an attack which will become known as Pickett's Charge against the Union forces after a massive bombardment on the afternoon of July 3rd. Stuart's mission is to take the three brigades of cavalry that had traveled with him from uh, Salem, Virginia, all the way to Gettysburg. These would be the brigades commanded by uh, uh, Fitzhugh Lee, the Virginia Brigade, of which the Black Horse Troop is a member. The, uh, 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 the brigade normally commanded by Rooney Lee, who is now a prisoner of the Union, now commanded by, General Ch uh, by Colonel Chambliss, and the brigade of uh, South Carolinians, North Carolinians, Mississippians, and Georgians commanded by, uh, commanded by uh, Wade Hampton. He'll be joined by a brigade that had accompanied Lee since he had left the Potomac River, usually commanded by Micah Jenkins, but this time with Jenkins wounded, uh, commanded uh, uh, by one of Jenkins' subordinates.